The concession by government to open up the skies to allow nationals stranded abroad for over 90 days should have been met with relief. A host of laid out requirements, however, carry the risk of creating more red tape. A ticket guaranteeing evacuation of an individual is hinged on successful registration and explanation of the circumstances under which one got stranded abroad. Evidence of hospitalization for those who went for medical treatment must agree to take PCR tests for COVID-19 both abroad and upon return, indicate the choice for a 14-day quarantine facility while in the country, meet the cost for those who decide to reside in hotels, pay for their air ticket home, relatives and friends are not allowed to meet the returnees, internal affairs to withdraw the passports of returnees upon arrival. It's very clear from those conditions that there's really a lack of empathy on our government's part, which is very disappointing. Because when you set a precondition, for example, that all Ugandans must test negatively, the Ministry of Health itself has talked about how difficult it, how difficult it is to procure test, testing kits, right? So how do you expect Ugandans in foreign countries to be able to acquire those tests? These are people who are telling you they have no money left. Twasima should have returned to Uganda in May upon completing a Master of Laws from Georgetown University in the United States of America. She says conditions have been tough for those stranded abroad without insurance, among other things. The Ministry of Health says they have 250-something rooms as per the list they sent, right? So why then are they insisting that Ugandans must come in batches of 300? When will that end? Human rights lawyer Nicholas Opio says the Ugandan government should hang its head in shame after turning its back on its citizens when they needed it most. There are many people who are pitching their citizens from Uganda. If there is an empty plane coming to Uganda from, say, India, to pick Indian in Kampala, if there is an empty plane coming from the U.S. or from Amsterdam to pick people from, from here, all you needed to do was to provide for an exception, open up the airspace to allow those Ugandans to return. Government officials are, however, confident that the first batch of nationals will start trickling in during the course of next week. The delay, uh, which is apparent and which has caused, of course, uh, some concern out there, is because the Ministry of Health and uh, CA and other stakeholders want to ensure that our people return in a state of safety. An estimated 2,400 nationals have registered to return home from 66 countries across the world. And we clearly indicated that we want them divided into 300 each and for them to come every after 14 days 14 days allows for the team in quarantine either to move into isolation or to be released from quarantine so that we can have space for more but also avoid topping up on people who are already there and spreading infection jackson onyango ntv